Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about how to install SQL Server 2016 RTM that is the final version of SQL Server on your machine. In my previous videos I talked about how to download SQL Server 2016 and if you want to know how to download it you can check the link below in the details section of this video and you can download the SQL Server free of cost. Now the developer version is free and you can download it for your own use or you can still use the evaluation version okay or or even you can use the express version that is a very light version and in one of the other previous video i showed you how to install the whole sql server 2016 ctp version that included all of the components of sql server so here in this video i will just show you how to install the sql server database and as the final version has been released so i thought to you know create this uh, new video so I have the setup already downloaded in my laptop and uh, this is the ISO file. So if you just double click on it, it will automatically mount the ISO to a DVD drive. Okay, so and here's the setup.exe file. You just need to it will launch the SQL Server installation. So this is the installation center planning. Uh, I'll click on installation to install the SQL Server. So here you will see the new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. So this is the link by which we'll install SQL Server on my machine. The second link is the install SQL Server management tools. So if you would have seen the setup of earlier versions of SQL Server, this was not there. So now the SQL Server management tools, that is the SSMS or the SQL Server management studio tool, they are removed out from the SQL Server setup. So the ISO file that you saw here, it does not contain the SSMS utility. It, you have to download it separately like this file or you can kick off the SQL Server installation of SQL Server management tools from here, right? So first of all, let's try to install the SQL Server database itself. I'll just click on this link and it will open a new window. Okay, so specify addition. So here are the three additions. Evaluation addition is free for 180 days and it has all the features. After 180 days, it gets expired. Developer version, recently Microsoft made the developer version free for the developer community. So to develop and for personal use, you can use this developer option to install SQL Server. You'll get all the features of SQL Server, including the BI suite. The express version is the lightweight version of SQL Server. Here you will just get the database. Okay, so I'll choose developer version. If you have a product key for your enterprise edition, you can specify it here. So with the developer edition, I'll just click next. Just go through the license agreements and click I accept the license items. Click next. Okay, let me just go ahead. Click next. Click next. Okay, so here are all the features that are available for installation. So it depends upon your choice. If you just want to work on database engine, you can just click on this. If you want to work for, you know, on reporting services, you have to select this or LSS services or integration services like this. So here you'll notice that the management tools is not there. So your SSMS will not be installed by this setup going forward and in the new versions of SQL Server. So I'll just click on database engine services. So if you want to know the installation process of all these features, it's fairly simple. You have to just click. And if you want to really check how to, you know, how these features are being installed, you can just refer to my previous video. Click next. So I'll just have it as a default instance. Click next, next. Okay, so Windows authentication mode and mix authentication mode. So if you want to have a SA mode, you can have, you know, you can also click this and specify the password. So right now I'll just go with the Windows authentication mode and add my current Windows NT login here. Uh, here you will see a different tab, data directories. You can, if you want, then you can change them. And the tempdb configuration. So this has been added as a new feature. And I've discussed about this in my previous video and in my blog post, you can check the link at the bottom and file stream. If you want to work with file stream, you can just enable it for now. We are not going to do that and click next. And here your database engine is ready to install. So just click next.
So finally, my SQL Server database is installed and you can see these features are succeeded. Uh, I'll close it and let's see uh, the apps where the Microsoft SQL Server is installed. So here it is the SQL Server 2016 folder. Yeah. And you can see here SQL Server 2016 configuration manager and installation center. That's it. There is no SSMS, right? So I have to install SQL Server SSMS separately. And uh, in my next video, we'll see how to install SQL Server SSMS. So till then, goodbye and thanks for watching this video. Please like the video, please subscribe and please let me know your comments. Thank you.